Hey guys, it's hoops to be back with another Bee Swarm Simulator video, and today, guys, we're talking bee quips. Yeah, those things. Let's grab a hive and we'll talk some more. Now, guys, everyone is asking me about bee quips. How do I actually use them? What are they for? I don't even understand what they're for. And I am, like, totally confused as well. But seriously, guys, we will get through this together. We will figure this out together, guys. We will figure it out together. So, the bee equips. Well, what are they? Well, basically, they're equipment attachments for your bees. Uh, you don't actually see them except for this little fellow here. Uh, yeah, he's the only one that's actually got equipment on him. But the rest kind of act a bit like buffs, similar to those bitter berries that you would put on your hive. So let's click on one of these now. If we just click on the bee equip case, which you get from the Beesmas Bear. Yes, do a quest and you'll get a bee equip case. Now we'll go back to the hive and as we click on that, we'll see that what's happen is we can see all these little icons and that's telling us that we have an equipment on that particular bee so let's just click on bucko here now bucko has a mutation because i mutated it plus he has a bee equip and if you click on that you can then see exactly what he's got so he's got a pine cone it's a 23 percent conversion amount a one percent ability rate and it's got a 10 percent pine tree forest capacity and pine tree forest pollen now guys you can unequip at any time, which is great. Let's unequip from Bucko B right now. Now, the only thing that's gonna stop you from doing that is to make sure that you've actually got a slot available in this case, because it needs to go somewhere. So let's just try and unequip another one of these. This is the Ninja B, let's unequip this. And boom. So we actually did unequip it, guys. Well, let's go and have a further look at the other components of the B equipment. So if we have a look in here, guys, now we can see that we've got a storage system. Yeah, and that storage system is going to handle all the overflow. So what happens is it goes into your bee equipment storage and you've got, I've got 10 slots. You'll get more slots as you do more quests. So I've got 10 slots. Now what actually happens if these fill up? Well, they go into your inbox, which is, oh, that's not good, guys. Uh, that's limited to 25, and basically, if anything else happens, you lose them. So, you want to make sure that you come into your inbox after you've been playing Bee Swamp Simulator Beastmas for a little while, and... Uh, clear out some of your inbox now they've got times on them guys look at this they've got times i've got five hours and 46 minutes left to get this peppermint antennas out of my inbox and into my actual <laughs> A storage box I know guys it's confusing so first of all what we need to do is we need to get rid of some stuff now what you might notice guys if I click on this warm scarf and I compare it to say this other warm scarf we notice that this one actually has a better rate and that's a 1% fuel capacity 1% uh, white but it's 28% convert amount 27% energy we have a look at this other one uh, that's 27 and 26 but this actually has better capacity for the fields so you have to decide which one you're going to keep now you might want to keep both or you might want to get rid of one now i think i prefer the actual field capacity to be honest guys so let's get rid of this one and i'm actually going to discard it yeah, that's right, because I'm getting warm scarves all the time. Now, the other thing you get lots of is these Beesmus tops. So let's go clear that out too. 9% critical chance, 9% ability rate, and 4% critical power. And let's have a look at this one. That's 7. So guys, I'm going to get rid of this lower one here. This has got a plus 1 attack. So that's handy to note as well, guys. So actually, I would probably keep the plus 1 attack, because that gives that bee a little bit of extra bonus. So let's get rid of uh, this one as well now as you can see guys it's uh, they're permanently deleted but you're getting these tops the elf caps uh the mittens the scarves pretty frequently so i wouldn't be too worried about this guys so now i've basically got the bee equipped storage uh, cleared out i've got eight of ten i can now go into the inbox go down to my peppermint antlers and say keep and yes, I'm claiming it from the inbox and it should pop into my bee equipped storage. And there we go, guys. So now I've got two peppermint antennas. Let's have a look. 3% conversion amount, 4% gather, and 1% movement speed. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, guys, this is a level 7. So if you don't have level 7 bees, this is no good to you yet. You can only have three of these in your hive. So do you want them? 
3%, 4%, 1%. Let's go have a look at this other one. And for some reason, we appear to be locked up. So I don't know why that one is not showing. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of a bug there, guys. But basically what you want to do is compare these things. Uh, the equip storage. So I've got these two tops. Let's have a look. 7%, 7, and plus 1 attack. And this other one was 9, 9. And it's got more critical power. But I think I'm going to keep the attack one. And I'll just get another top later, guys. So as you can see, guys, you are limited. You are limited in this game. So let's go back to the hive. And we'll just check this out again. And see what we've actually got in our B-Quip case. So this is your A-Team, right? This is where you would literally have your A-Team. You need to bring it into the Quipper case to get it onto your hive. So let's have a look at this Beesmus top. Oh, equipped. Right. Uh, yeah, this is not as good as that other one with a plus one attack. Uh, what else we got? The... Do we have the antlers there? Oh, we got the elf cap. So let's have a look at that one. 44, 16, 2. All right, let's have a look at this one. 38, 12, and 2. So guys, I'm just going to get rid of that elf cap because I do not need it. So let's permanently delete that. So now we've got space in the be equip case. And yeah, guys, I know, I know, it's confusing. It's confusing. But basically now you've got space to bring one of your B grade teams uh, into your B equip case. So let's do that now. Uh, let's have a look at the toy horn. That looks pretty good. 38 convert about 3% ability pollen and ability. It has melody. Guys, 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 guys. These equips give you and your bees another ability. How cool is that? So now instead of having to have a whole heap of music bees to get melody, you can actually put the toy horn on one of these five bees. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to add that to my case. Boom. And now if we go and have a look at my case, we could see that the toy horn is here now, which now enables us to drag it across to the hive. So let's have a look. All right, so I'm going to put uh, the toy horn on to Crimson, I think. Uh, no, actually Cobalt. Sorry, it's Cobalt. So let's drag that across right now. And that is it. That is how we equip some bee equips. That's easy. That's it, guys. It is over. The, the tutorial was over. Well, no, not quite. Not quite, guys. Because what I want to do is I want to get the best. I want to get the best, guys. I need the best. I need to clear up a slot here. So let's get rid of one of these things. In fact, I don't need another elf cap. Honestly, I'm getting rid of the elf caps because I'm getting them like three or four a day. It's crazy, guys. All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get the tiara. Yeah, that's right. This is one of the most expensive one of the most expensive bee equips and I haven't seen it anywhere. You might be able to get it from the spirit bear, but I have not seen it as a drop. Now all these other things pretty much, I'm pretty sure you can get them. I haven't seen the Beesmus tree, uh, but yeah, you can basically get these other things as drops. So it's a level 12 bee equip and you're going to get 50 glitters and one diamond bee jelly guys, diamond bee. That's not a bad bee to have. So let's go. I'm going to spend 5,000 because I'm pretty sure I've got a lot of snowflakes guys. I've been busy grinding. Hoops the Bee put out the ultimate snowflake guide, and now I'm farming snow bears. It's amazing, guys. Six and a half thousand snowflakes. Easy. Let's go and buy this bundle right now. Boom. There it is. So I've used up one of my slots, and we're going to go check out its specs. What? Seriously, guys? Check this out. Wow, let's see if it, this is actually worth it, guys. Let's see if it's actually worth it. It's a level 12. It's can go on any color and it has a limit of one per hive so you want to get it guys you want to get it uh it's only for a bunch of different bees and they must be gifted wow it's going to be hard to use guys but you want to get it because it's not going to be available after beesmus oh yeah that's right all right so let's have a look guys who is best at doing blue gather white gather critical chance blue field capacity it's got a white field capacity and it's got extra honey from tokens who is this going to be well i think they gave us a little bit of a hint guys i think it's going to be the diamond bee yeah that's right i've got this diamond bee already let's go have a look at the diamond bee stats and see if it's actually going to help us at all we can see that it has blue boost it has the honey gift token it actually uh collects 10 pollen in four seconds that's not great guys but it doesn't have any attack it doesn't have any attack, so let's just keep that in mind as we go back to the bee equipped case. Right? It doesn't have any attack, so it doesn't really care about attack too much. It is a gatherer. 
of honey from tokens because you know you're getting a bonus from the, the token mark anyway guys so let's have a look at the windy bee guys well the windy bee actually collects 10 pollen in three seconds it's actually pretty good so yeah maybe we should be popping it onto windy bee it also makes 180 honey in two seconds now that's not quite as good as a thousand but uh, yeah, we've got a, hif a gifted hive bonus of 15% instant white conversion. So we want to be gathering more guys. So I actually think the tiara isn't actually best on the diamond bee. I think the tiara is going to be best on the windy bee. So uh, let's go ahead, uh, locate windy bee now. And we can give the windy bee a tiara. And there we go, guys. So now this windy bee has a mutation of energy, but it also has this bee equip. And it's going to help it gather a lot more stuff, guys. Look, that converts 67,000 in one second. That's pretty decent. Yeah, and it gathers 86 now in, in three seconds. So, guys, is the snow tiara actually worth it? I'd say, yeah, definitely. You're going to get 5,000 snowflakes quite easily. And if you've got a level 12 B, like Windy, for instance, well, you might as well get it on there ASAP. And there's one more thing with bee equips that you should know, and it's the swirled wax. Now, if you've unlocked a Riley bee and you can admire the Honey Day candles, wow, amazing, uh, you could get yourself one of these guys. It's a little swirled wax, and let's go over to the hive and see how that exactly works. Now, we'll have a quick look at these here. Let's re-roll the stats here for this Crimson Bee bee equipment. Yes, let's use a wax on the Crimson Bee. So we just drag that across to the Crimson Bee, guys, and we'll see. Use the Swirl Wax on the Bee Equip. Yes, and that is it. If we click on this now, we can see that we've actually re-rolled the stats. And uh, yeah, basically the Elf Cap has got better stats. Now, you only want to use the Swirl Wax when the potential is quite high, meaning the more stars mean the potential for a better stats. If it's actually like a one star, don't use your swirl wax because it'll probably be a worse conversion and you can't roll it back. Okay guys, that's all I've got time for today. Let's quickly recap the bee equips. First of all, you've got your A tier. That's your bee equip case. And you'll have a limited amount of slots that you can use to equip. You drag the item on to someone in the hive, for instance like that, and boom, it's equipped. And that bee now has extra powers and that is going to be great. But what you want to keep in mind is that some equipment is better than others. So let's go over to the storage box and we'll take a look at that guys. So let's open the be equipped storage box. In here we have some spare items. So we've got slots of seven of 10 and these are our B grade equipment. These are ones we definitely want to keep guys. Now the other ones that we're just getting and we've got too many, we want need to make a decision. Will we keep them or not? So for instance here, the icicles, yeah, I need to keep the icicles guys. Look at that. It's got a blue bomb pollen. How cool is that for the whole hive? And it's got a 4% attack. So yes, I definitely want to keep the icicles. And it looks like I've actually got two lots of icicles. So that's pretty good. So let's, we can have a limit of three of those. So let's get to claim icicles from inbox. Boom. There we go, guys. We've got icicles there. So that is excellent. Um, the other thing I'll probably keep is the paper angel. Uh, and we go boom. And yes, now we've, we've got slots here for the extra stuff coming in. We've filled up our slots here. And that is basically it, guys. You have these permanents as well, which is like your reindeer antlers. If you ever take them off, that's where they will be. But that is it. That's the bee equip in the nutshell. You need to go through and figure out which bee is going to be best for which equipment. So I'll do an ultimate guide on all the bee equipment and potentially which bees they're best on. Let me do all the work and you can have all the fun. And don't forget, you can get your bee equips from random drops from mobs. You can get it as part of quests. And you can get a bunch of your bee equips just from brown bear stockings. But don't forget, at level 15 on the snow bear, there's also a bee equip that you can get, which is the icicles, guys. And that is a little bit overpowered and is very hard to get. Anyway, watch my video on the ultimate snow bear for that. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.